first graders. It's Miss Crockett. Are you ready? Boy, that was low. Are you ready? We are going to start with a number talk. Remember, number talks happen in your head. So what you do is you solve, you think about it, and then you talk about it. So the first question I'm going to ask you is this. Four plus six. All right, are you ready? Count of three, I want to hear everyone's answer. Ready? One, two, three. Tell me. Did you say ten? Because you're like, oh, I remember those friends of ten. Maybe you do, and you remember four plus six makes ten. Okay, so I'm going to throw another one at you. And I want to see if you know this one. So this one is going to be four plus six plus some more. How would you solve that? What do you think? Everybody hit pause. I want you to think about this. Hit pause. All right, we're back. So on the count of three, I want to hear your answer. One, two, three, tell me. 14, 16, what is it? Let's find out. Okay, so maybe you knew four plus six would already make 10. And then you had four more. So you knew that would be 14. But I bet other people did it differently. So maybe some people said, I know my double stacks and I know what four plus four is. Does anybody already know four plus four is eight? So maybe some people were, were thinking, well, I'm just gonna do the four plus four and then do the plus six. I don't know. Maybe you did that. So eight plus six. Okay, so eight plus six. Maybe you found a two there and a four there and you added them all together and you did 10 plus four. But I have a question. If we did this, we just ended up with exactly the same thing at the end, 10 plus four and 10 plus four. So maybe you were like, well, I could do that, but I could find a 10 and that would make my life easier. I don't know. Raise your hand if you did that. All right, so I think a lot of you probably did this. And then maybe some of you actually um, were thinking about your fingers because you know four fingers plus five plus one more. So that was six. Wait, there we go. Six, six. <laughs> this is so hard to do well, on the computer where it's, everything looks backwards. So there's six plus one, two, three, four makes 10. So maybe you already knew that, and then you went, one, two, three, four more fingers. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Compton. Woo, math stretches my brain too. So I want you to remember that. We're supposed to feel little brain stretches when we do math. We don't want to cry because it's too hard, but we want to stretch our brain. So mine's going like this, stretching out a little. Okay, we're going to take a peek at our story. And today our story is about falling leaves. Um, it's fall, guys, so why not? Let's do a story about falling leaves. It was so windy yesterday that my driveway was covered in leaves. My leaf pile had hmm, brown leaves and hmm, yellow leaves. How many leaves were in the pile in all? Okay, that's a lot of work, you guys. So let's think about that. It was windy, okay, leaves fell, got that. All right, so I understand that part. My leaf pile had hmm, brown leaves. Okay, so some of my leaves will be brown, and then some of my leaves will be yellow. And I'm trying to figure out how many leaves were in the pile all together. You guys, this is making me remember this thing, actually. You guys remember this? It's like we've got some brown leaves and some yellow leaves. And we want to find out how many leaves there are all together. 
I don't know, that just popped into my head. So let's see our numbers. Are you ready? Remember, just write number set. I have to pick it. So here we go. We've got eight and two. We've got eight and 12. And we've got 18 and 12. Now remember, this is the time where you want to get your math tools. You want to get your fingers. You want to get your tools going. And then you want to tell your teacher on the paper how you solved. So if you use your fingers, you're drawing your fingers on the paper. If you're using tools, you're drawing tools on the paper. All right. I will get to see you next week for our next story problem. I'll see you guys later. Bye.